Back to our top story now, where American airstrike hitting a Syrian weapons facility. Uh, basically a warehouse in the desert that's used by Iranian proxies in retaliation for a, the attacks on our U.S. bases. Uh, Derek Van Orden is a Republican out of Wisconsin, retired Navy SEAL. You were in Israel at the end of last month, and sir, uh, welcome back to our program, and good morning to you. Um, well, thank you. Good morning. So we hit an equipment storage shed in the middle of the night. Uh, and the statement came out specifically because we thought at nighttime there would be nobody there. Um, that to the side. W what should the appropriate response be, whether you agree with this last night or not, sir? Well, certainly that was not the appropriate response. And immediately following the bombing of an empty warehouse in the middle of the desert, Lloyd Austin essentially apologized for doing so. Uh, the Biden administration is projecting strategic weakness around the world, and the world is a much more dangerous place because of it. People have to understand, if you harm an American citizen anywhere, you are a dead man walking. It's just that simple. We have to show everybody, especially the, the mullahs in Iran, that we will not be trifled with. This is unacceptable. The Biden administration's policies are making the world a much more dangerous place, and we must have peace through strength. Okay. Uh, the New York Times apparently had an interview with a senior member of Hamas. And as you look at the skyline of Gaza with the smoke trailing through uh, uh, the distance there, it's going to be sundown very soon. Uh, we've just been watching this image for the past 40 minutes or so. So we gave an interview. He's in Qatar, by the way. And uh, there, there's a number of things in here. Just put this up uh, behind Hamas's bloody gambit, right? Uh, apparently, he said a lot, uh, said a lot rather. Hamas's goal is not to run Gaza and to bring it water and electricity and such. This battle was not because we wanted fuel or laborers. It did not seek to improve the situation in Gaza. This battle is to completely overthrow the situation. He's talking about making sure that the Palestinian cause would not die. But if, if the objective here is not to help your own people, um, that's that correct. you've been charged with hey, hey, governing for 17 years. Bill, listen. What that is is a call for the genocide of the Jewish people. From the river to the sea means eradicating the Jewish people from the Jordan River to the Mediterranean Sea. So that is an active call for genocide. And unfortunately, the Biden administration has chosen to send another $100 million to those people, the very same terrorists that slaughtered over 1,400 Israelis on October 7th. And going to the sites of these massacres, at these kibbutzins, and at the peace festival, it was a life-changing experience for me. So we have to understand everything that's taking place in Gaza right now, every man, woman, and child that's being very unfortunately killed, every piece of infrastructure, every building that's being destroyed is a direct result of Hamas's invasion of Israel on October 7th. So they bear all of the responsibility for all of the horrible things that are taking place in Gaza, period. Mm. When people are trying to equivocate what the Israelis are doing uh, in Gaza, trying to eradicate the terrorist organization of Hamas with what Hamas did to the Israeli civilians that they targeted intentionally is disingenuous. And it's, oh. it, it's absolutely uh, not helpful for peace. Okay, sir, one last question here. I think we got a picture of it from yesterday on the steps of the Capitol. There are about 100 staffers, congressional staffers, free country, free speech. Just They're all wearing masks in front of the camera. What, were you, you able bet. to see this yesterday, and do you have a reaction to it? Here are my thoughts. The staff should never be the story because the staff's name is not on the door. I was elected by 750,000 Wisconsinites to represent them. Those folks are staff. They have the right of, of, of free speech, but they must understand that they don't write and dictate policy. Um, the elected representatives, my Democrat colleagues and I, are chartered to write policy. Our staff is not. So I have a tremendous amount of respect for my Republican and Democrat colleagues who have been elected to this office to make sure that we can uh, write effective policy to make the world and the country, uh, first and foremost, a better place. And these, these folks, I think it's wholly inappropriate for staff to be doing this. Okay. Uh, Derek Van Orden, thank you for your time, the Republican from Wisconsin. Thank you, sir. We'll speak again. We will. Thank you. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.